Welcome everyone, Joe Warlock here, unboxing time, March, launch box. Don't know the theme. I was doing so well with themes and I've totally forgotten the theme for this box. I know the theme for next month is Justice, this month, yeah, well we'll work it out, it doesn't matter. These ship from Barcelona in Spain, they are 29 euros, so I don't know what that is in pounds and dollars, you'll have to work that out for yourself. But we're just going to get straight into it. And I finally have a knife to actually open boxes. So this is always good. Magical. Done. Ooh, this looks interesting. Before I get into the box, I should point out there was one other thing inside the package because it gets delivered in a big package and this is what's inside. There was one other thing. This. I don't know why this was a thing. But apparently this was inside it. Um, we should probably open it up. Yes, breaking bag, Jesse Dinkson. Oh dear. I'm guessing it's something to do with TV shows or something like that. I'm not sure what the theme is, but this was on the front of the box. Oh, why do I do this? Awesome. It's like I am actually him. You would never know the difference. Fantastic. So yeah, this is a completely random thing. Now let's get into the box. For those of you who wanted to see me wear that throughout the entire thing, I'm very sorry. That's just not gonna happen. Let's get into it. And the first thing is, this feels like a key ring. I like key rings. It's Call of Duty Black Ops. The weight on this, wow. Okay. <laughs> show you it. Free. It's gonna show up. Ah, get in the light. If you can see the detail on that, I'll try and get a close up on it as well. This is not a toy. Activision, not to three years old. Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Never played Call of Duty Black Ops 3, but I've also never had a keyring that was, um, yeah, it's solid metal and it is really heavy. There's got to be a good bit of value in that. That's, I like that. I like keyrings anyway. Not a mad Call of Duty fan, but, uh, yeah, that's actually really nice. It's just the weight of it is what impresses me. Okay, yeah, keep going. Ah, Assassin's Creed Unity. What was the last one? Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Really enjoyed that. Unity, wasn't so fond of. This though, is this leather? Ubisoft Entertainment. I don't know if this is plastic or faux leather or what, but it's a very nice design. You can see the Assassin's Creed banner on the little front. Yeah, so it's actually for your wrist. I mean, in case anyone didn't know, I wear a lot of things on my wrists. I don't know why, I just do. I feel naked about stuff on my wrists. So yeah, there you go. That's what it looked like on your wrist. Actually, quite nice. I like that, that's decent enough. I think it's faux leather, which is kind of cool, but it looks like leather. It's really thick. That's really nice, yeah. I'm impressed by that, that's cool. We shall keep going with scalers. Always get to get, at least once every three months I get a scaler of some kind. And this guy looks horrifying. The Hulk, but it's actually a really good version of the Hulk. I mean, get the light off him, it's really annoying. But there you go, you can see the Hulk. Yeah, you can hang these from your headphones or a random cable. The Hulk is a brilliant character, to be fair. Just, he can't die, can he? I think he's like flung into the space and into the sun and all gone shot and everything. He just does not die. Except when Hawkeye killed him in Civil War Part 2. Because, you know, that's the thing. Anyway, though, the Scaler, Hulk, quite nice, decent enough. I've got loads of these hanging around all over the place, so he'll add to the collection. Keep going with a... Okay, now, if something divides people more than Dorbs, in my experience of doing these boxes, it's reaction figures. It's the Terminator. And it is, in fact, Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator. I'm going to have to get a close-up of this because the face on this guy is horrifying. These are done very much like the old Kenner toys and I don't know if you're a child of the 80s, early 90s, there was a lot of figures like this. I even had figures from like the Love Boat, I think. I've never even seen the Love Boat, but my aunt was weird and she kept buying me random figures and for some reason they were the Love Boat, I don't know. But yeah, the Terminator is kind of cool. And on the back, obviously, Terminator, T-800, Terminator again, Sarah Connor and Kyle Reese. Very cool. I like these. I think they're really good for display. It's not something I'd ever take out of the packaging, but as a display product, I like it. 
Really liking this box so far. That's going to tell me what's in the box, so I'm not going to look at that. We have... See, now they have these collectible, what I thought were like, pop, 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 pog slammers. It is, in fact, like a casino chip. And this one has... What detail on this? The Terminator, Assassin's Creed, uh, the Joker, and Call of Duty on it. I'll try and get a better close-up so you can see it better. But these are actually really nice. They've got a good weight to them. It's something different. It's not a pin. I like these. Yeah. These are good. I C B N S. I still don't know the theme. Nope. Can't think what the theme is. Ugh. If someone's worked out the theme, let me know. It might actually be on that piece of paper. I haven't looked. Next item. Ooh, and the final item. One thing I really like about this box is their t-shirts. They're not uh, printed by the company. They are proper t-shirts. And this one is a Suicide Squad t-shirt. Like a proper DC Suicide Squad t-shirt. With... That's stunning. I mean... That is an amazing bit of detail on that t-shirt. Jared Leto's Joker. That is... I like that. I like that. Ridiculous amount. That is an incredible t-shirt. Wow. Okay. Uh, oh, let's just check the piece of paper. So we had... It just says IC8NS. I don't know what that means. What does it mean? What does it mean? Anyway, yeah, so the Joker t-shirt, uh, the Assassin's Creed wristband, Marvel scalers, you could have had Wolverine, Black Ops keychain, Breaking Bad mask, and the Terminator reaction figure. Okay, let's just check everything we had, see if it's worth the value. So, the chip, which tells us about the product, although I still don't know the theme. I mean, it's not of any value, but it is nice and it's quite collectible. The Hulk scaler figure. Um, I've got to think about scalers. I didn't like them at first, but I really like them now, and some of them have got amazing detail to them. They're really cool just to have hanging around, so why not? So the Terminator reaction figure. I know these divide people, but I like them. I think they make great display pieces, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. Let me know if you like them. The Assassin's Creed wristband. I like that. I love wristbands. I mean, you'd never know, but I do like beads and bands and all those kind of things. That, to me, is so nice. It's a good way. It's thick. It's not going to break anytime soon. It's, it's a good quality item. I like it. The exceptionally heavy Call of Duty Black Ops 2 keychain. I mean, as we all know, I like keychains. So that gets my vote. I know it's Call of Duty. I'm not a Call of Duty fan, but the keychain and the skull kind of insignia on it, if that's what it is, you might have to let me know, is very cool. Awesome. The incredibly strange <laughs> Jesse Pinkton uh, Breaking Bad mask. I don't know why this is a thing, but it's in here. And, you know, why not? And the Joker Suicide Squad t-shirt. I know Suicide Squad has already been out, but I can't fault the t-shirt. That is such a lovely design. Um, I think I've seen them somewhere. I can't remember how much or where I saw them. But yeah, uh, quite a few items. 29 euros. Uh, don't know what that is in pounds. Let's say 25 pound. Why not? You may well have your value in that box. I actually think that was a pretty good box for what it was. But I don't know about the value, because I can't do euros into pounds, I'm just guessing. So, let me know guys, what do you think of Lodge Box? What do you think of the items in here? What's strong, what's not, what's great, what could be better? Let me know in the comments below. As always guys, if you want to grab yourself a Lodge Box, I'll leave links down below. Thank you for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, because it really does help me out. And if you're new here, why not subscribe, because why not? You might find something you like. In the meantime though, and most importantly, be happy, be free, keep it awesome, and I will catch you next time. Bye bye.